liked what he did, but liked him as a person and just wanted him on the record. You know, I just wanted him to be part of this experience. When he came up with his first solo record, uh, people weren't sure what kind of record it was going to be at that time. They weren't sure. They thought maybe it was going to be a, like a fusion record, jazz rock record, an instrumental kind of record or something else, you know. In a way, it's kind of good because it gives him more freedom. He's an Indian musician that obviously can play <laughs> in that world, is one of the finest violinists. And uh, here I was giving him a four chord song to play. Ding, 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 ding. You know, it's like underplaying the guy, but he's sort of, you know, I, I, he wanted to be part of this experience too. So sometimes you get people for specific jobs, and other times you just sort of say, I'd like you to do something. Can you find a hole for yourself, you know? Well, Alfonso Johnson, Alfonso Johnson was one of my heroes from Weather Report. It's almost like a little sentence, you know? It, it's like the beginning of the sentence, and it's kind of like the afterthought of the reply. This track, uh, it had that real just earth, wind, and fire quality to it, you know? It really did. But yet, Phil somehow managed to kind of put his own, because of his vocal sound, it, it definitely had his stamp on it, you know? I used to wear these very outrageous sort of earth and fire type suits. And uh, considering I was pretty boring to watch, you know, I mean, I just sort of stood there and sung, I was still finding my feet, really, as a performer. They added an amazing presence to the stage show, you know, because it gave people something else to watch. was the first sort of proper album that I'd co-produced with somebody, so I didn't have anything to measure it by. I just remember, you know, I was 26 or something and going to L.A. and you don't feel at any time that you're making, you know, incredible records that would be remembered 20 years later or whatever, but both Phil and I had this feeling of loving to listen to music that had space in it. We tried very hard to not put too many instruments onto the record. kind of be a song about the South and frontiersmen and uh, guys that sort of out in the middle of nowhere, little shack. When winter comes, you're there for months, you know, and the wife gets pregnant and, uh, and she has her own baby and you, have, you give a hand and someone from next door 30 miles down the road comes and gives you a hand. It kind of stuck out a little bit on the album because it was a story song, because the rest of them were about me. But the sadness and maybe the solitary feeling of the thing was probably something that seeped in from the other songs. I guess I always figured that with Eric, Clapton was going to play slide guitar on it, so we'd just do it as a, as a live thing. Yeah. And in fact, we did try with Clapton. 
you know, in those days, I mean, he, you know, we all enjoyed a drink, and uh, and we enjoyed a drink that night. In fact, he enjoyed a drink before he came, and then he enjoyed a drink with me. <laughs> but I put Eric through hell with this, and actually listening to it, he probably he probably got it closer than I thought at the time. You know, he put the piano up in it. Yeah. See, what I was after was something kind of precise. And just, just listening to the, this the first time I've heard this since the session, like, you know, 21 years ago. He actually was playing what should have been played, really. I mean, the sound of the dobro, you know, the scratch. And it's much more funkier. It's been months now since we heard from It's much bluesier. Yeah. Here's, here's, here's what ended up on the record. They try their hardest to make it a home. Seems so long. It was that kind of song I just felt that it should have been done in one go, which, yes. is, which is the kind of the spontaneity. But because I didn't get it in one go, I went for something else which ended up being a little bit more, a little bit too perfect. But the roof is leaking out my window. Howling. Ooh, the kids are crying Cause the sheets are so cold When I woke this morning Found my hands were frozen I tried to fix that fire But you know The damn thing's too old And me Ooh, I'm getting stronger by the minute When I listen to Phil's album again What strikes me is that there's all these different varieties of music on this one record. It has sounds similar to Beatles and Weather Report, Motown music, a bit of Genesis style, which I think is almost next to impossible to do today. I think if you were to present to a record company this album, say, here, I'm thinking about doing this, could you sign me for this album? I think they wouldn't. I think I think um, if, even if Phil was presenting this album today, they'd go, well, you know, that's not really what we're looking for. At the time we worked with Phil, we, we didn't care anything about record sales. So when we got together, we always played the music which we enjoyed, and we never thought that it was going to be as successful as it was. The way the song starts, it's like a, a call and response village coming to life, waking up, going to work. And so that's ding, 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 ding. the way that song starts to me is kind of like that. And we kind of used to exaggerate it more live with a you know, as if people were waking up in the morning. It's like a Disney cartoon. Actually. You can imagine sort of the birds rustling their feathers and things. The main track that I did at home was based on this. Tom Tom arranged the horns. He had notated certain things with dots and dashes. Looked sort of like the Morris Code to me. And as the music played, he would point to the dot or the dash. And I would look at him and say, yeah, man, I didn't know what this meant, you know. But he would point to this and say, mm, that, 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 you know. And whatever that meant, this is where it predated Max Headroom. <laughs> 